Hello, hello everybody. I am so excited for the, this recipe. I cannot wait to get started. I am so hungry. Thinking about dinner and spaghetti and garlic bread are two of my very favorite things and have been since I was a kid. So I'm just gonna share this video super fast so that I can get going and get this food cooking because I am hungry. I hope you guys had an awesome day today. I hope that if it's cold outside, you guys stayed nice and warm. And I hope you guys had awesome days of work and that your family is all good and healthy. If you guys wanna share this post, please do so. Just remember, don't start a watch party because I can't talk to the people inside of the watch party and if we make our live view goal, they can't get entered in because I can't see their comments. So just don't start a watch party. If you decide to share my video, which you are more than welcome to do, to share the love with everyone that you are friends with, and we are going to make stuffed, Spaghetti garlic bread. All right, so I'm sharing on some cooking groups. Hello, Esther and Lacey. You are welcome. Welcome, Kathy. Have you shared them with your husband? Has he gotten to enjoy them? Happy Thursday, Cindy and Bill. Thank you, Jesse, for sharing. All right, I believe I shared to all the places I wanted to share. Yep, I did. So. Let's get started. I already have my pasta water on the stove warming up. So let's get you situated so you guys can see what is going on as well. Make sure you're not all crooked. There we go. Thank you guys for sharing. So we are gonna be making this spaghetti stuffed garlic bread. So I sent my husband to the store, Walmart. This big Italian loaf of bread costs a dollar. That's it, you guys, a dollar for this big loaf of bread that can feed a group of people with this massive spaghetti dish. So how awesome is that? A dollar, my husband, whoops. My husband's like, I was gonna buy a bunch of them just cause they were so cheap. So <clears throat> super awesome, just a <sighs> My husband keeps calling. I told him I was starting my show, but I'm not sure if he remembered or not. Alright, so I am washing my hands up and we will get started on this dinner. Hello, Kathy. I'm glad you shared with him. Patty, thank you for sharing. Jennifer, hello. So my water, my pasta water is boiling. And while our pasta water is cooking, we are gonna gr um, brown up our Italian sausage. So we want a pound of Italian sausage. Um, just basic um, fresh Italian sausage from the store. Can you guys see that or is my screen backwards? I usually fix it before I go on live, but it looks like... No, that's right. Okay. There we go. Just losing my mind, you guys. So a pound of fresh Italian sausage. If you want, if you're not cooking for um, smaller kids like I am, you can... Woo, you can use the hot Italian sausage, add a little bit more flavor to it. But since my kiddos, I'm hoping, will eat this because they love spaghetti just like their mom does, that I'll just keep it to the regular Italian sausage. Um, and then you're gonna do a pound of ground beef. But while my water is ready to go, hello Jody, hello Heather and Franny, how is everyone doing? So we are just gonna do seven, no, how many ounces of uncooked pasta? We are gonna do seven ounces of uncooked pasta. So this entire box would be 16 ounces. So I'm gonna do my best to just kind of get half of the spaghetti. Um, the recipe will give you extra spaghetti and meat sauce left over. I always split my spaghetti in half I um, grew up, my mom always did it, so now I think it's weird if I don't do it. So they said you will have extra noodles left over after you're done stuffing your bread. And there's nothing wrong with that because we eat on noodles and, um, and spaghetti sauce all the time. So my noodles are in there, I used about half of the box. 
Um, it says to just cook it until it's al dente because we are going to be baking it again. So you don't want to overcook your noodles. So nine minutes for al dente pasta. Miranda, that's so awesome. I um, haven't had somebody cooking along with me in a while. So that is so awesome. All right. So my noodles are in here. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I had it on high just to bring this water to a boil, but I'm going to turn it down to medium high so that we don't boil over. Actually, I don't know why, and my mom always did it, and so I always did just split it right down the middle and throw it into the pan. So it is cooking. I am going to take some tongs and just make sure it's nice and broken up and not sticking to the bottom. I just did water. I didn't do any extra olive oil or anything in the water. So then we want a pound of ground beef, which you guys know I'm, I um, switch out quite frequently ground beef for turkey. So we're doing a pound of ground turkey. You don't have to do that. You can stick with the beef. I don't ever notice a huge difference other than the fact that it's healthier. So I just switch it out whenever possible. So a pound of ground turkey, a pound of Italian sausage. I turned my burner on to high now and we're going to be browning that up while our spaghetti is cooking. Yes, Amy, when I when the kids I like take scissors to their spaghetti so that they can eat it easier. Yeah, I'm glad we aren't the only ones. That's awesome. I figured somebody was going to be like, why did you do that? Um, it's going to be weird. My, my uh, pan is going to be backwards because I don't want my arm over the hot spaghetti water. Ooh, you guys know me. I'm always throwing stuff out of my pans. This is my favorite tool, you guys, my, my ground beef chopper. It's such an awesome tool and super easy and cheap so i will put the link in the comment section of this video when i'm done so you guys can get them they come in like three and four packs on amazon they are super awesome my mother-in-law is the one that showed me them and i will never go back so let's look at the directions make sure i'm not missing anything so in a large saucepan we're gonna boil our spaghetti and remove it from the heat and drain it when it's done. While the pasta is cooking, we're gonna brown our beef and our sausage in a large skillet over medium heat. Add onion while browning the meat. So we are gonna add our onion. I need to find one of those things to break up the meat instead of a special. Ashley, I will tag you, it's on Amazon. It's super, super easy. The ground beef chopper is seriously the best, you guys best kitchen tool. I still have not gotten a big screen so I can see your guys' comments. So it's a little harder when I'm over here at the stove for me to read them. Um, it's not, Ashley. So the handle is softer, but um, this bottom part is definitely plastic. It's a lot harder. It's not flimsy like a spatula is. Um, and they come in different sizes. So I've got a little one. And then this is my bigger one. And then there is one even bigger than that. Um, I don't like that one as much just because it takes up most of my pan and I like to really get in there and chop it up nice and thin. So that is my favorite thing ever. Yep, Pampered Chefs I think is a little bit bigger. Um, my brand is just, I think it's like Yink or something like that or Zing. So that's the brand name of mine is Zing. So I'm cooking this up. We need one medium onion diced up so you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off the ends of my onion. I'm going to take off this outer shell and I'm going to quarter my onion and then just throw it in my food processor. I don't want to waste time having to dice up the onion. I rely on my food processor when it comes to my onions and you guys have probably learned that by now. So I've gotten those end pieces off. I'm going to dice it into quarters. Nothing fancy. Make sure I get this outer shell off. Just toss it in. I'm going to get it a little bit thinner than dice. Love, love, love my food processor, you guys. Quick and easy. Can multitask and get it all done with. So we were gonna throw our onions in while we brown our meat, you guys. Get it nice and cooked in with the meat. It's gonna give it good flavor.
Here we go. These comments are coming in so fast, you guys. Oh no, Tina, what is going on? I will message you later. I don't like seeing that you guys are in the hospital. Got one two years ago. The chocolates are great. Hello, everybody. Hello, newbies. Hello, hello. Laura, we are cooking um, spaghetti stuffed garlic bread is what I want to call it. I'm not sure if that's the official recipe name, but that is what it is. We are making spaghetti, and then we are stuffing it in our own garlic bread. Tina, I hope you are getting better. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like hearing that you're in the hospital, so my, my thoughts and my prayers are with you. Jill, I was going to be on at 5.30. I think I'm just on maybe 15 minutes early because I am so excited for this food. I know it might not be the most convenient for you guys that are on the, the West Coast. Sorry, Jill. You didn't rinse the onion on your hands after touching the raw turkey. Cassie, I don't know if you saw it, but I've washed my hands three times since I, since I touched the raw turkey. But thank you. <laughs> I always love, um, I love people uh, being uh, sticklers about me washing my hands, but also I am cooking the onion, so with the raw turkey. So um, I don't think it matters if I touch the raw turkey and then touch the onion and then put the onion in with the raw turkey, but that's just me. Oh no, Harmony, that's not good. I don't like hearing that you guys are so sick that you're in the hospital. That's scary. So my thoughts and prayers will be with Tina Fink and her family. If you guys care at all, put her in your prayers and thoughts. She is sick and in the hospital, and I don't like hearing that. She is always watching my show, so it makes me sad. Hello, Eileen. How are you? I am so excited for this, you guys. We are browning this up. Getting this going. Our noodles have about two more minutes left. And then I'm gonna just strain them out and put them in the soup. All right. catch we are going to strain off all of this oil and this grease that's coming off with our food here i am good eileen i am good gotta love the know-it-alls and the ones they think they know it all it's so true you guys i am used to at least one person coming on and talking to me about washing hands so i've got a two-year-old and a four-year-old i am all about washing hands so i'm just going to strain off this extra grease, you guys, just nice and easy. Be careful not to burn yourself. Don't pour it straight into your sink. Use a can or um, anything that you put your oil and your grease into, typically when you cook bacon or anything like that. I'm going to turn my heat down. I did have it up on high, but now I'm turning it down to medium to low probably. Just because I'm not familiar with the recipe and I don't want to burn this while I'm looking at the recipe. Patty, I am excited for you because I'm excited for this dish. It is going to be so good. Um, my only thing is I'm not sure how when we have leftovers, how the best way to keep it is. So I'll probably pull the spaghetti back out of the bread maybe. And I'm not sure. We'll see how the leftovers go. Yep, the, the hand police. There's always one in every every group, you guys. <laughs> My son is feeling way better. He does have a little bit of um, congestion in his chest, but it is awesome. Now that he is older, he's able to clear that congestion out a little bit better than when he was younger. So there, our noodles are there. I don't want to put that back in there. All right, let's see what we're missing here. So we, our meat is ready to go. We drained off the excess fat and returned it to the skillet. Now we are gonna add our tomato sauce. So 16 ounces. Yes, Kingston. Uh-oh, bring me the remote. 16 ounces of tomato sauce. I'm just using, you know, generic food club tomato sauce. Um, then we need six ounces of tomato paste. And I can thank my dad for having bought this for my house. 
he bought this and it's been in my kitchen and it's not expired yet so i was excited about that so we want six ounces of tomato paste yeah, Mama. what do you think you did uh, I ruined that. he's just now learning how to use the remote he's four and we normally don't ever let him use it but while mommy's cooking here king it is nice for him to be able to pick shows for him and his brother here you go baby i i wanted to tell a story so you want Disney Plus? Yeah. I, it's kind of hard for me to pick Disney Plus from over here. All right, so now we want six ounces. Okay, I'll help. Just come from here. Six ounces of tomato paste. I think this is just shy. 4.5 ounces. So we're just shy of six ounces here. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. Trying to see the TV from where I'm at. Is that it? All right, let's see. Making crab boil while you watch. Awesome, awesome. My spatula. This one says, if you can't stand the heat, and then it has an arrow to get out of the kitchen. Branny. Yep, that's how it goes. At least I didn't have to block her. It looks like she stopped talking after we said stuff to her. So we've got our tomato paste. We've got our tomato sauce. Then we want our Italian seasoning in here, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. It says a generous tablespoon. So I'm just gonna do that and sprinkle it on in there. That's a lot of Italian seasoning. <laughs> ah, get this kind of smushed in. I feel like, for my family, we like it saucy, but I'm sure to be able to stuff it inside of my bread, we can't have it too saucy. Well, you have the remote, then don't pick it. All right, let's see. What am I missing? Italian seasoning or garlic, so we want a half. It's okay, buddy. A half a teaspoon of minced garlic. You guys know that I bought this big old jar of garlic that I am so excited about. Amber, girl, there's going to be so much left over. You should come and get some. You're going to play soon, but glad I could watch for a little bit, Mary Jo. Yes, thank you for watching. Can you please bring me the remote instead of panicking? Oh, darn it. All right, let's get this mixed in. So we've got our garlic, our Italian seasoning. We've got our tomato sauce, our tomato paste, our onion. And then it says, Kingston, you need to calm down. There's a remote. I need to stop yelling, please. Look at me. If you ever pick the wrong things, you hit the arrow. Okay? And don't panic. Please. Alright, sorry guys. Whoop! And there went my smasher. So we'll switch that out. We're pretty much all smashed up. Alright, so we've got garlic, and it says to add salt and pepper. You guys know how I am. I really don't salt much, so we're just going to do... A couple of grinds on my salt shaker. And then we like pepper in this family. So a couple of shakes of my pepper shaker. Hey. Story of your life, you had to put the TV on so I could go halfway through. She wanted to change Disney, said Nickelodeon. Luckily, I told her what numbers to push. Yeah, that's basically how it goes. They pick something, and then 30 seconds later, they want a different show, and then they want a different show, and then they want a different show. Yeah, it drives me nuts. Whenever I'm sitting there and he's in control of the remote, I lose my mind because he can never pick what he wants, never decide. Sounds like him and his brother are fighting over what they want to watch. I thought you were going to put Toy Story on, buddy. No, I love Toy Story. Okay. All right, so our meat is in here. It says while well, our meat was simmering, but we missed that part. <laughs> so what we're going to do, while it's simmered, now we're going to add our cooked pasta back in. So cooked pasta, give it a nice shake. Since I didn't have any oil in it, it was a little stuck together. But here we go. Now let's get this kind of tossed around. 
get it mixed in here. The directions on this recipe are a little mumble jumbled because she, the person that wrote the recipe wants you doing multiple things at once. So you have to read through the recipe first before you start doing it. Cause she um, has you jumping around a lot. So we're mixing in our cooked pasta into, I am all over the place you guys. I don't wanna burn my fingers. So we're mixing in our pasta and our sauce. Get it all mixed in together. Our oven is at 375. Oh, that's what it is, you guys. All right, so we're gonna stop what we're doing. I'm gonna turn the heat off because this is plenty warm enough. And, oh, I stuck it on the thing. We're gonna scooch over. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep our garlic bread so that it's in the oven. Sorry, guys. Kingston, do you want your Valentine's present? then you need to calm down, please. All right, so what it says, Mom. Kingston, what do you need? Oh, can you turn this on? Okay, you, you can he told me to keep the remote. When you were Kingston's age, I would just put salt on and you would be afraid to complain to change it. Yeah, right, I would be in my room crying. <laughs> Unbelievable. I will let you know, Alice, Yes, Amber, you should. We're going to have so much food left over. I'm so All right. So, what ideally what would have happened is while we were simmering our, our ground beef and our pasta was cooking, so while 9 million things are going on, we were supposed to come over here to our Italian bread and we're, we were supposed to cut it in half. So I'm told, I know once I do this recipe this first time, I'll be a pro at it the next time. So what I probably should have done was done this first before I even did my ground beef or anything like that. So we're gonna cut this in half with a bread knife, serrated bread knife. I'm gonna take my butter and I'm gonna melt it. It doesn't say how much butter. So I did four tablespoons of salted butter Amber, if you weren't so lazy. Well, if Rory goes back into town after dinner, I will have him bring you some, okay? Because we have a lot going on here. What we're going to do, so it doesn't say how much butter, so I just did quite a bit of it because I don't want to run out. So we have our butter. Now, it wants us to take this bread, and it wants me to carve out the middle of each half of the loaf and remove the bread to create a hollow hole. So the only reason why I know what the heck this thing is even talking about is because of the picture, but we'll see how easy or how hard this is to do. I don't want it to be too thin in the bottom so that it doesn't break when I stick the spaghetti in there. It also doesn't tell me what to do with all of this bread that I'm cutting out. So what I'm gonna do is probably smother it in butter and garlic powder and toast that up too for some garlic bread. So I'm gonna just kinda carve this out, it says. I probably should have left the butt there. I think I messed up a little bit. All right, and then we'll take this one and carve it out. There. Left the butt on that one. So we'll see. Like I said, we will learn this recipe. I'm sure I will make it a bunch of other times. So, <laughs> here's my bread. Right? I mean... I want it to have enough room to fit this spaghetti in. So, there we go. Then, we're gonna take our melted butter and our garlic powder. And it says, it seriously just says butter and garlic powder for bread. It doesn't say how much. So I did about four tablespoons of salted butter and I'm just gonna do maybe half a teaspoon of garlic powder and see where we where we are. I don't want it to be too overpowering, but I also don't wanna be yearning for some more garlic. 
So let's see how that looks. That should be good. And we're just gonna take it and we're gonna saturate the inside of our bread. So mind you, all this stuff, I should have done this in the beginning. And then while your meat is cooking, your bread is toasting. Because you wanna toast this first before you put the spaghetti in it. So that is the part that I missed in my steps because I was, I think because I was fixing the TV and cooking the meat. So get this all nice and saturated. So I would say you probably need more butter and garlic than what I did because I ran out. Let's see. I've got another four tablespoons of butter that I'm gonna melt up so that I can garlic and butter the rest of this bread. Nope, Ashley, we're gonna put cheese on top of our spaghetti. <laughs> Girl, we are gonna smother it in cheese. There will be no room for bread on the top of our spaghetti. We're gonna put a little bit of Parmesan and a little bit of mozzarella on top of here. So we're gonna brush the insides with butter and garlic powder and toast it in the oven. When the bread is toasted, we're gonna spoon the spaghetti into the each hollow half completely. You will have spaghetti and sauce meat left over and then divide your butter half and half, or divide your cheeses half and half until Divide cheeses, knock my garlic powder over, and sprinkle them on top. So, tea, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm hoping this is gonna give me enough that I can garlic my um, my other pieces of bread that I cut out too. Because nobody wants to waste yummy, yummy bread. This bread smells so good, so fresh. Exciting, I love it. All right, get that all painted in there. No piece of bread unsoaked. So here we go. Nice and sloppy garlic bread. And I'm gonna toss it in the oven. What I might do, because I want it nice and crunchy, is I'm gonna turn my broil on, but I am going to keep the door open so that it doesn't get too hot. But what I like about broil is it makes it nice and crunchy on the outside. So we're just gonna keep an eye on it and see where it goes with the broil on. I am positive that if you would have put the, the bread in while our meat was cooking, that the 375 would have been sufficient to get it nice and, and cooked for us to eat. Croutons, that would be fun to make. No, never gonna miss the opportunity to put some cheese on my food, you guys. It never fails, I love cheese. I love cheese and I love garlic. All right, keeping an eye on it. Sorry for the downtime, you guys. Jerry, that's weird that people would think that you were crazy. I love like taking garlic bread and putting spaghetti and making a little sandwich with my garlic bread. So I was super excited when I saw this recipe and I was even more excited when I saw that you guys voted for it because I definitely wanted it. So my broil is on, you guys, it's getting nice and hot. Mama, can you put something on? Yeah, what do you wanna watch? I think you got it, buddy. I don't what I want to do. I don't know is what it is, Mom. Hey, 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 you need to calm down. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. What describe it? What describe it to me? What do they do in it? Do they cook something? Kingston's trying to decide some food show that he wants me to do. It was something downstairs that I watched. 
Jerry, that would fill my belly. I'd be pretty happy Mom. about it. Um. Yes, Kingston. It's something that I watched down downstairs. Something that you watched downstairs? Yeah. Okay. Um. Was it on Disney Plus? Yeah. Were they cooking? Um, it was the wet shelf. The wet shelf? The wet shelf. The one shelf, baby. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. So I'm going to take these extra pieces of bread and I'm going <laughs> to... I am going to smother them in this butter and garlic. I've already ran out of, of butter and garlic again. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to need to get more butter and more butter. All right, so the only thing that's happening with my broil is my top, very, very top of my buns are getting warm and burning. <laughs> but, so the broil was a mistake. I wanted it to be nice and crispy, but what happened was the top of my bread is too high up to the broil. So the top of the bread got nice and toasty and the inside Started to, but not quite yet. So, watch out, Kate. So, oven's at 375. We're going to toast this bread up, you guys. And I'm going to do this bread as well. Get a little bit more butter on there. Listen, buddy, I have no idea. Were you watching it in the morning? Uh-huh, with you. With me? Yeah. You want to watch, you mean the thing I watch on my phone? No, on the iPad. Huh. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty like, excited that I've gone through a stick and a half of butter just to butter and garlic my bread. Something on the TV downstairs in my room. Well, the iPad is right here. I love the iPad. I'll show you what show is it. Okay. So I'm melting some more butter, you guys. The Kingston appearances. Yeah, so garlic powder, Michael, and butter. Um, probably, Laura, but I think what would happen is it's just such a big difference of how high up that bread is to how deep the bottom is that no matter what, it would probably burn before the inside got brown. So that's unfortunate, but we will survive, I hope. I'm just going to add a little bit more garlic powder into my butter, about half a teaspoon, you guys. You can always, of course, add more than that, but I think that's about good. I still have some garlic powder left in here. From the last dose of butter I melted, I am seriously like just dousing this bread in this butter because it's a nice thick piece of bread. I'm going to kind of tip it over. Get the sides all in there. Let this drip. I don't know either, buddy. I'm so sorry. No, it's so hard working. guessing the kids' shows. I can't find the eggs button. The exit button? Yeah. Mm. It gets wrinkles. That one? Yeah. yeah. All right, you guys. Oh, where is it? We're getting nice and toasted now. Oh, where is it? Oh, Toast it on the edges. I'm trying to nice look. and toasty. I'm trying to look for the show, but I can't. I know, find buddy. It. He's stressing out, you guys. I'm sorry. Was it Princess and the Frog on Disney Plus? Hello, no. Crystal. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. No. Okay. Oh, buddy. All right. Let's get this spaghetti and stir it in a little bit. I don't know, buddy. You're okay. You can calm down a little bit. I'm trying to get this pasta stirred in here a little bit more. Oop, didn't realize I was out of the picture. Let's boop. Did you just eat some bread, baby? There's going to be lots of bread with dinner, okay? No, it's not going to be I just have to toast it up first with some butter. No. On it. Well, it's too late. Look, all this bread has butter on it. I just want to get my bread. He is so upset, you guys. All right, I think we are good to go. Our bread is nice and toasted on the outside. Kingston, you need to calm down and go in the other room, please. Please. 
please, baby. All right, so we are nice and toasted now, you guys. I am going to bring you over so that we can add our spaghetti. Honey, there's no way for me to add the spaghetti. Honey, there's no way for me to help you. I don't know what you're talking about. Mommy, I'm not talking about I don't know. Disney Plus doesn't have a continue watching or watch again. So we are going to have a lot of spaghetti left as I can see it. I needed two pieces of bread. Do you want ratatouille? Ratatouille? Was it ratatouille? Yeah. With the little mouse? No. Oh, that's ratatouille. It wasn't this with the cooking show? He cooks and he's a little mouse? I thought you liked mine. Honey. I like mine. Continue watching. Star Wars, Lamp Life, Bluey, the Muppets? Forky? It was something that I never watched. Something that you've never watched. Okay. I'm going to finish this really fast. I'm going to put it in the oven and then I'll help you. Okay. Thank you guys for trying to help. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Joan, yep, they are always begging, always by my side. So I'm going to stuff this in here. I'm thinking that you are going to be right that there was just a little bit more Italian seasoning than necessary, but we will be okay. I'm also overstuffing my bread because I don't want that much leftover spaghetti and we need to be able to feed all of us with the spaghetti that I stick in this bread with all this cheese. Here we go. Get that up in here. Scooch it. Here we go. Lots of meat left over. Trying to get this kind of mixed up so that it's nice and easy. <sighs> Papa is hearing you whining on the TV and he is not happy. He's listening to you up here and he is not happy that you're whining at me. Mom, I just don't want, I don't want Grandpa listening to your show. It's so mean. <laughs> Papa, watching my show is mean? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. But he's being mean to me about the iPad. <laughs> he's being, he is being, um, Papa, about your whining. There we go, you guys. Now I have upped the game with my scooping abilities. Get this nice and scoop in here. There we go. It's like we got a pasta side and like a meaty side. <laughs> I am like to the top with this, you guys. If you say stuffed garlic bread, I am stuffing my garlic bread. All right. Sorry for the sniffles, you guys. That onion got to me more than I thought it did. Yeah, go ahead. Watch whatever, Kingston. I don't know why you're whining at me. All right. So we've got our spaghetti stuffed in there. Nope, Heather, nothing wrong with the leftover spaghetti, but I also didn't want to have spaghetti that's not in the bread and have somebody still hungry for some more with some bread. Yeah, break it route. So we've got this in here. It looks so good, you guys, and it smells so good. Um, Kingston took my iPad, so let's see. I need, Kingston, you cannot sit here and talk while I'm cooking. It's not, nope, it's not gonna work. Oh, your brother has the mouse. Grayson, come here. I'm like, why is my computer going crazy? My youngest son has stolen the mouse off the counter. <laughs> yeah, you don't play with mommy's mouse. Thank you. Oh, now my, now my four-year-old is going to go cry in the bathroom, you guys. <sighs> <laughs> we are thankful when daddy is home, that is for sure. So let's pull mommy's recipe back up just for how much cheese I'm supposed to put, even though you guys know that I'm gonna do way more than what it says. 
All right, so we're gonna top with cheese. So we're gonna do a fourth of a cup on each side of Parmesan. There we go. So a fourth of a cup. Hey, Kingston. Rizzo's in the garage. Can you let her in? No. No. So I'm just eyeballing this, you guys. Just a fourth of a cup of Parmesan. I know I did. And then this is two thirds all together of mozzarella. So two thirds. So we'll do a third of a cup on each side of mozzarella. There we go. And what I have learned in the past cooking with you guys is yeah, he just, yeah, he just wants to snuggle and watch TV. So what I have learned cooking with you guys in the past is if you make a mess on your pan, use a different pan when you put it in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is as effortlessly as possible, pick this up. I wonder if it would help putting, hey, you guys, no fight, no, no fight. Alright, let's pick this up, pick this, this up, because with all that extra cheese and meat that has fallen, it is sure to start a nice smoky distraction in the oven, and I don't want that. I am so sorry, you guys. Hey, 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 hey. no, that's daddy's. I have to show that Grayson. No, you don't open that, it's daddy's. Alright, alright, you guys, we're going to take, uh, uh, uh. we're going to take this. And we're gonna put it in the oven. Gosh, you guys. I am so sorry that he is being so naughty. I naughty. When you open the oven, make sure you, you open it and let the heat escape so that you don't burn yourself like I just did. We're gonna stick that in there and we are gonna cook it for 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. We want it, obviously everything in there is already nice and cooked, but we just want all that cheese to get nice and melty and all that stuff to get together and really be heated all the way through and nice and delicious. Yes, Trevor, it's gonna be messy, but um, bread bowls would be super fun to do individual little garlic bread bowls. That would be super cool. Um, that's what I like, Panera, you can or order like little bread bowl things and I love that. You can have them make them fresh for you. <sighs> Thank you guys, you guys are so sweet. He is stressing me out today. Um, I had no nap and no rest time. He had a doctor's appointment, uh, eye appointment instead. So, um, he is a four year old. We all have those days. Yes, we all have days where we feel like running into the other room and crying. But he, um, his most recent fit is because I told him he couldn't open this and that it was daddy's and he is not happy with me. But we don't need him opening tobacco. So, and normally he wouldn't even have gotten it, but they went into mommy and daddy's room when I wasn't paying attention. So I'm gonna stick these um, on the very, very bottom rack underneath our spaghetti bowls. So hopefully those get nice and melty and crisp up. <sighs> you guys are awesome. Yeah, trying to be a trooper the best I can, but um, he is definitely uh, testing the patience today. Definitely, definitely testing mommy's patience. All right, so we've got our cheese all in there. Super excited about that. We have all of our extra spaghetti and meat sauce. I dropped everything on the floor today. What else is new? Get all of this stuff put in here and here. Woo! All right, you guys. Let's do this double giveaway. So not only is my kid pitching a fit, but he is pitching a fit on one of the biggest crowds I've had in a while. So that's awesome. That's one, that's one for the books. I'm just going to pretend like the reason why all of you are watching was because my four-year-old was pitching a fit and that you guys just loved it so much. <laughs> just give myself some sort of reassurance. All right, I'm gonna pull you guys up. 
four-year-old, I hear ya. My hubby works nights, so dinner time can be rough. That's how it works with your kids. You're doing awesome, thank you. <laughs> T, yeah, if my dad lived closer, he would have definitely rolled up in my house a long time ago during this video. <laughs> But he's all the way in Texas, so he gets to just reprimand. He has our uh, login for our, our camera system so that he can keep an eye on us and the kids and whatever, make sure the house is safe. And uh, he was talking to Kingston, I guess, this morning in his room. But uh, Papa didn't think that he liked that very much. So I'm going to drop you guys down a little bit so it's not as awkward when I look down at my iPad. All right, so we're going to start at the bottom. Alice C., Sasha M. It's okay, Maddie. You've been in the same boat. Oh, no. Meg, that's not fun. Jennifer H. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck. I actually have a list of people who have won, but if you have won in the month of February, you cannot win again until March. So don't comment your name. Or I will have to take it back out again, and that just causes more work for me. Jessica K, Janice A, Kara H, Courtney N, T. Yeah, he's all the way in Texas. <laughs> Crystal Sewell, Amy J, Sasha McDonald, I got you. Mego, I got you. Trevor H. Kara, I really, really, really hope that you love your Stitch Fix box. I was absolutely in love when I was pregnant. Jaden S., Linda C., they had the best maternity stuff. It fit the best. It looked the best. Mandy L., Tabitha L., Lakeisha G., Jody H., Heather F., Sherry LaPointe, Sherry L, Mary Jo, Jesse S, Jesse K, Nikita S, Ashley D, Ashley, I accidentally put an E on the end of that. Sharon, I got you, Sharon L. Amber L. Eileen, don't put me. You won 131. You've got it. I won't. Crystal Hofford. The Enforcer. My dad. <laughs> Tevra K. Patsy B. Esther M. Ashley H. You guys, if you're commenting your name and I'm not seeing it, try an emoji or try talking to me instead of your name and sometimes that will help with the filtering. If you say, hey, how are you doing, Riley? Or something about the food I'm making. Deborah W. Lacey W. Kent Coulter. Harmony V. Renee O. Franny R. I'm so excited for you, Kara. I really am. <laughs> I am so excited. I wish I had all my maternity stuff left, but it's still at my friend's house. Otherwise, I would offer you. I have so much stuff. Beverly V. Mom, yeah, babe. Have candy. No, he can't. But can you let Rizzo in, please? I did. Thank oh, you. Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> Tammy H. Sabrina M. Justine, where did that candy come from? Justine B, Laura K. <coughs> garlic bread. Yes, Arlene, garlic bread. See, it stopped the filtering because you said garlic bread. Nina H. Kingston, what's up, buddy? Taylor Z. Can you stop yelling and maybe I'll think about it? Are you going to pick a number for us? We need two numbers today. Becky G, mm. Kelly Coulter. All right, you guys, I'm going to read through the names. If you still don't hear your name, comment it again with an emoji or say, hey, how are you doing, Riley? What's up? Great meal, something like that. And the filtering should 
stop. I do have you, Crystal Sewell. I do have you. I will read through the names, and if you still don't see it, comment it. Alice C, Sasha M, Mego, Jennifer H, Sharon L, Jessica K, Janice A, Kara H, Courtney N, T, Crystal S, Amy J, Trevor H, Jaden S, Linda C, Mandy L, Tabitha L, Lakeisha G, Jody H, Heather F, Sherry, Sherry L, Mary Jo, Jesse S, Jesse K, Nikita S, Ashley D, Amber L, Crystal H, Dean R, Deborah K, Patsy B, Esther M, Ashley H, Tammy H, Deborah W, Lacey W, Kent C, Harmony B, Renee O, Franny R, Pam U, Patty L, Beverly B, Tammy H, Sabrina M, Justine B, Laura K, Arlene M, Nina H, Taylor Z, Gigi Goff, Becky G, Becky G Kelly C, Crystal, I've got you, Harmony, I've got you, Candace Thompson, Candace T, Arlene M, I got you, Jennifer, um, we have a babysitter, not for tomorrow night, but for Saturday night, and we're going to do just dinner and a movie, that new Harley Quinn movie's out, and my husband and I both want to see that, so we will go and do that the day after Valentine's Day, it's easier to find a sitter the day after, so Candace T, Arlene M, I've got you, Jennifer, I believe Jennifer H, I thought I had you, but let me double check, oh, okay, Jennifer H, this dinner sounds good. Lacey, I've got you. Lacey W, Mallory F, Patty Page. Grayson, can you come here, please? Patty Page, Joan Mills, Marissa D, Bill W, Mallory, I've got you. Rebecca L. Sorry, I heard two other crystals. Crystal S, right in the beginning. So I've got you, Crystal. Carolyn. Carolyn. Carolyn S. Me. Jennifer Nice. Seems to be a good movie. I want to see it too. I hope it is. I actually haven't heard any reviews or anything about it. But where are you getting all this candy? Did you get it from the backpack? I think it's from the backpack. I think that's where Brother's getting it. Jill P. No. Oh. I Am I eligible? No. Yeah, I won the no. end of January. Jill, yes, you should be eligible. It's just um, just February that you cannot win. Pisa, why are you crying now? Why? Oh, gosh, you guys. Do they cry with the babysitter? No, they, like, don't even care when we walk out the door. Our kids are awesome with babysitters. Okay, you guys, let's do this giveaway. Kingston, can you pick two numbers for us, please? No. Grayson, can you pick two numbers? No, don't know two numbers. Sorry, guys. All right, you guys. Jerry, my comments don't seem to be working. Jerry, will you pick... Jerry Slack, will you pick two numbers between 1 and 12 for us? Um, and if it, it works better and the filtering a little bit easier if you spell out the number instead of type it. Um, you guys, if he comments numbers and I don't see it, if you guys comment it, then it helps me see it a little faster. Sorry, you guys. We're almost done. Going to get our two giveaway winners going. Yeah, baby. You want me to do what? You want to pick the numbers? You want to pick them? Okay, baby. You guys are starting to look really good. Okay, Kingston, I'm listening. You're, is it going to be a full moon, maybe? I don't know why my kid is like anything is setting him off right now. You don't know, baby. That's okay. Grayson, you can't have the sucker, baby. Look at the dinner. Look. Look at what we're going to eat. Do you want spaghetti right now? No. No spaghetti right now. Linda Brown, I got you. Linda B. Seven and ten. Perfect. Seven and ten. So we are going to do 7 and 10, okay? Okay? Oh, I forgot he got his eyes, um, he got his eyes dilated at the eye doctor. Grayson, look. And his pupils are still really big. I forgot. 
All right, so seven and 10. Carolyn, I have no idea. So what I'm gonna probably do is I'm going to, Brooke S, I'll add you right now. Brooke S, um, I'm going to take my bread knife and I'm gonna just kind of cut it so that it's, if you flip it on its side, there's pasta here and then bread kind of in a moon shape around it and that's how I'm gonna try and serve it. So I'll let you guys know, you guys will see a picture when it get, all gets served up. So seven and 10, seven and 10. Here we go. When I pull your name, I do remove it so that it doesn't come again, just to keep the odds in everyone else's mm. favor, okay? Seven and 10. Number one, Pam. Number two, we're almost done, Kingston. Mom, I want Daddy to come Yep, he's on his way. Harmony V, number three. Franny R, number four. Jennifer H, number five. Crystal S, number six. Crystal H, and number seven, our first winner of the night, number seven. Tammy H, Tammy H, Tammy I E H, Tammy H, your job is to message my page, your personal shipping information, I'll get something sent off to you. It's usually food, cooking, um, kitchen related items. So number eight, Jesse S, number nine, and I will comment in the description my Amazon links for all of the um, tools that I use today in my kitchen. So if you guys have any interest in those, if you buy them through the links, it does support me. I do get a small percentage back. And number 10, Jessica K. Jessica K is our second winner of the night. If you message me your shipping information, I will get something sent off to you as well. Congratulations. Yes, Mary Jo, just stick it in the middle of the table and let everyone dig in. Sounds like a good plan. Um, I'm super excited for it. I'm gonna let you guys take a little sneak into my oven. I think it's got three seconds left, so it will be done. Oops, I forget flipping it makes it go weird. That cheese is getting nice and golden brown. My bread underneath hasn't browned at all yet. Oh yeah, a little bit. I'm sure once I take this top layer out, it will brown up a little bit more. So super yummy, congratulations everybody. I am going to make a breakfast bake this weekend. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one that is um, a prep the night before and bake it or if it's a morning of one yet and I haven't decided if I want to do a sweet one or a savory one so if you guys want to um, comment and let me know sweet or savory bake the night before the bake the day of but I want to do some sort of breakfast bake this weekend because that um, French toast was a hit and I'm thinking maybe to do um, like biscuits and gravy or do like O'Brien potatoes and eggs and ham bake or to do a sweet savory one again and do some sort of strawberry blueberry pancakey thing so let me know you guys thank you for hanging out with me i will post a picture of dinner when it is served thank you guys bye